With me now, Congressman Eric Swalwell, Democrat from California. He's a member of the Judiciary and Intelligence Committees. He's also a former 2020 presidential candidate who made gun reform the centerpiece of his campaign. Congressman, thanks for your time this morning. I understand that the House Democrats, you guys all got on a call yesterday. What was the message from the speaker? Well, the speaker's message was that we've already, on the issue of background checks, done the heavy lifting. You know, we went and beat 17 NRA endorsed members of Congress in this last election, largely because of the post Parkland activist activism that we saw across the country. And we passed background checks in the first hundred days. And so we don't want to let Mitch McConnell off the hook. Now, my position, though, Craig, is that background checks are the floor. They're not the ceiling. And if Mitch McConnell can't give us a vote on something 90 percent of Americans agree on, we're not going to get very far as long as this Senate uh, is around. What do you think the Democrats should be doing? Well, I think in addition to background checks, uh, we should ban and buy back the 15 million assault weapons in America. It's not an original idea, but I have legislation uh, that would do that. And it recognizes assault weapons are different than other types of weapons. And when we saw in Dayton that within 25 seconds, nine people were killed. That's because of the velocity uh, and the force of the rounds. It leaves almost no chance uh, for people to survive. And Australia has done this. New Zealand is doing it right now. Uh, we can do it, too, and protect people from these massacres. I, I would also add, Congressman Swalwell, uh, that in Dayton, Ohio, you had nine people killed in less than 60 seconds. Even the good guys with guns who were nearby, yeah. when they managed to neutralize them fairly quickly, nine people were still dead. That's right. And also, I think about those officers who died uh, in Dallas uh, not too many years ago. I have two brothers who are police officers uh, and, you know, they're trained uh, and they, they have assault rifles in, in cases, uh, you know, where you have mass shooters. But in Dallas, uh, even when police officers had assault weapons, uh, the shooter who had an assault weapon was able to kill uh, over five uh, police officers. And the only way they were able to take him down uh, was by uh, a, an IED. They had That's to send right. in a robotic bomb because th these weapons are so dangerous. I remember that I was there. I was there in Dallas for that. Uh, Congressman, the New York Times put it this way this morning in its headline: One man could decide Washington's response to gun violence. Mitch McConnell. Hey, going back to something you said a few moments ago, what realistically can, can be done to put pressure on the Senate Majority Leader? Well, we're going to put pressure uh, over the recess. We're calling him, you know, to call the Senate back into session to give us a vote on the bill we already passed. Uh, but also, uh, Craig, if he doesn't do that and we go into September and the new Senate uh, session begins, the Democratic senators running for president, I think there's an obligation uh, on their part to show us what they're willing to do. They could filibuster to at least bring this to a vote. Now, you'll put other senators on record. So Susan Collins, uh, Cory Gardner in Colorado, Martha McSally in Arizona, all these vulnerable senators will have to vote either to allow debate on background checks uh, or to end the debate. And I think that will be important. As your last guest, Shannon Watts, pointed out, there will be hell to pay for anyone that blocks background checks uh, in the Senate. Do, do you get the sense, and I, I feel like I've asked you this question and many others this question hundreds of times over the years, do you get the sense that there is anything different this time? Uh, yes. Uh, we're reaching you know, a, a tolerance, uh, an intolerance point, uh, Craig, and it's not happening as fast as any of us want. My constituents, even myself, I, I didn't take my son to the grocery store on Sunday. I always take him with me Sunday morning, uh, and he gets a, 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 muff, a blueberry muffin at the coffee shop at the store, and he loves doing it. And I, I didn't want to take him after El Paso. And a lot of constituents told me they didn't want to take their kids to run errands either uh, after uh, El Paso. And so uh, we are reaching that breaking point. But I, I don't want us to forget how far we've already come, which is, again, we beat 17 NRA-endorsed members of Congress. We passed background checks. That was really significant and sweeping. Now we need the Senate uh, to stand up and act. Congressman Eric Swalwell of California.